Yes, look who's back in the gym. Yes, yes, yes. One really lack a part of working from home is that tea gets brought in about every 10 minutes. Thank you. Yes, now back to this maths lecture. <sighs> Good morning. It is just after half past six on Saturday morning. I'm up, writing my maths test this morning. Two, three, eight. Um, feeling kind of confident for it. I only went to bed uh, just before 12 because I was finishing an EBB control systems report. I actually haven't studied for this that much, so I'm going to get back together right now. It's been a tough week. I uh, just did a lot of reports and a lot of projects. And now end week. So yeah, let's hit it. Alright, this is my test venue. Got my paper, computer, fish tank. I'm at home alone, so it's all quiet. Got some water, got a banana and some peanuts for later. You can go to the bathroom halfway through. That's a particularly pleasurable part of writing tests from home. Let's do this. Three hours. Maths. Woo! Uh, test went well. I actually think I did quite well. I knew lots of the stuff in the test. Actually, everything. One or two things tripped me up, but no, overall, pretty good first semester test for maths. I hear the second one is much harder than this first one, so I'm glad. Mmm. Let's have some lunch now, it's five to three. Let me carry on working. Back to the graft. Just heading out to the hardware store to pick up some supplies for a present I'm making for a certain someone. I can't uh, mention it because they watch the vlog, obviously. Um, I'm also going to pick up my RGB light bulb from Jason, and my good friend. We did a Banggood order recently. For, uh, so Banggood is like a Chinese uh, online store. They sell a whole lot of electronics components and basically anything actually. They're kind of like Alibaba, similar to Amazon. Um, so I got one of those nice fancy uh, light bulbs that can change, like a Philips Hue light bulb, and can, you can change it from your phone and that. Obviously much cheaper off this website. So I'm gonna pick that up and play with it this afternoon. So that's cool. And it's so nice to get out of the house. Goodness gracious. And so this is the light bulb in question. I don't know how well it's scanning on camera, but yeah. That's the sunrise option, sunset option, the night mode, the dating night, uh, the candle flicker. It looks interesting. And then you can just manually go set the color to whatever you want. So let's have some blue, let's have some red. I'm really digging this kind of blue at night time, just set to like a lower brightness um, so that I can study with it in the background. But yeah, <laughs> really glad I bought it and that's actually really cool, giving me some pleasure. Good time. Was it was. Kyle and I are just watching an old uh, holiday video of mine here. Living vicariously through the past because I was just saying my vlogs for the past few months have been inside, working, sitting, doing nothing interesting, and the past vlogs used to be interesting. Um, what do you have to say? I'm still here. Still here, still working. 7 September today. And we're not going back. So I'm not going yeah. back probably till March. So, and I have to think of some creative ideas for the vlog because this is starting to get boring. <laughs> Gym session, we're on the way home. Um, got load shedding tonight though, because we live in South Africa. So, see, it's stage two at the moment. We're out from eight o'clock tonight till it's supposed to be midnight, but it'll come on a bit earlier because the load shedding ends by 10. So, eight till 10, no electricity. Ooh. But as long as you know about it, you know, you can kind of plan your day around it. So, we'll cook dinner and uh, eat dinner before the power goes off at eight. And then from eight till 10, I'll, I'll have some downloaded lecture videos that I can watch. Um, so you can make the time productive, especially with online learning, you know, it wouldn't be great if it was during the middle of the day when I was writing a test like it was last week. Because it's 8 to 10 tonight, I'll just download some lecture videos, I'll watch some of my control systems videos for the week. And like, that's a productive use of the time. And when the power comes back on, you know, attempt to do other work but probably procrastinate with YouTube. You know how it is. But yeah, how was Jim? Jim was excellent, thank you. So nice to get out of the house. <sighs> and I've got a nice blood blister. Blood blister. Solid. Uh, it will. Um, it will.
also be certain properties for us um, to go from the set point to, to the output. Hey, what's up? I'm just sitting here in the dark um, watching the control systems lecture because we're having load shedding from 8 to I think 10.30, you know, South African things. In my at-home book by Bill Bryson, um, he was talking about the invention of electric light and how in the 18th century, the amount of light you had was an indicator of how wealthy you were. And, you know, the more advanced, wealthy, educated people uh, usually had more light because they could afford it. And just like the, the amount of light you had went with your social class and went with the amount of things that you can accomplish because you literally had more hours in the day as opposed to someone who, when the sun went down, had to go to bed because it was unsafe or just inefficient to stay awake. No, Mom. <laughs> and, you know, being in South Africa where there's a lackluster electricity supply and where people battle to have electric light um, and appliances at night, it just made me think of that. We kind of hamstrung by our power problems and the government problems that have caused those power problems over the years. Just something to think about. Luckily, I've got some control systems lectures downloaded, got a, a nice battery powered phone, and so we can still kind of be efficient. But yeah, something to think about. Just sitting in a mess tutorial now, it's three hours long, but I've actually finished all of the problems ahead of time. That's the way, only way to pass maths, do all of the problems ahead of time, and just have them answer the one or two that you don't actually understand. Also, sitting here with Taylor, Kate, and Rahul, all busy grafting on various different things. Um, it's the pandemic home study life, and uh, I've gotten so used to it now. Oh, so yeah, it's been a boring day, just been working. Oh, been procrastinating by looking through a Udemy course uh, on React, the front-end framework, which is really pretty and really fun to mess around with. So, yeah, Varsity's looking tougher and harder this week with some practicals and that coming up. But just trying to do the theory at the beginning of the week. I'll get to the practicals later this week and try not to stress myself out. Usual. So, math lecturer, oh, I'm the lady that takes my tata as well. This is Mostat, amazing lady, by the way. Never met her, don't know what she looks like, but she gives incredible maths lessons. I just told us that maths, 238, uh, calculus, series, sequences, whatever the subject is, uh, is continuous assessment for the rest of the semester, which is good news because it means that my first semester test and second semester test, if I can pass them well, kind of means like the semester is over because I'm doing well in these class tests every, every week anyway. And so, yeah, the exam will just be like a small little section of the work, which is really nice. So at the moment, it looks like exam is going to be very chilled for me. I'm only going to have like two that are very important and the one is like an easy subject and so like yeah it looks like only gonna have one really hard exam actually at the moment but it's all the stuff you gotta get through first to get to the exam um, that are gonna that are gonna crunch and I'm worried but anyway gonna write this uh, math class test for the week now it's on sequences and um, where's my study got done your converging sequences telescoping series um, limit test um, limit direct comparison test Integral test and limit comparison test for convergence and divergence, divergence of sequences and series. Uh, uh, just of series, not of sequences. Uh, my, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied here because I'm focused on the maths. The language part of my brain has been shut off and will be for the next hour. So I'll talk to you after I've written my test. Ah! Math test went well. I think I might have even got 10 out of 10. Sequences, convergence and divergence tests. You know, the like. Um, needed to get out quickly, didn't get to go to gym today. <sighs> Lovely to breathe in some fresh air. But yeah, Matt's continuous assessment for the rest of the semester. Don't have an exam for um, digital design, just the big practical, which I've got to get working on this week. And so, the rest of the semester looks like it's going to be okay, or at least the end of it will be. The middle bit. Before second end week is going to clap because there'll be lots of practice to do, but do our best and uh, enjoy each day. All you can do during the pandemic is carry on with this run. Whew, feels good.